grab your cup. I want to share something with you that I learned many years ago. It resonated with me very much at the time, and I've held it in how I think ever since. So at the time, this was actually a sermon in my church that I was going to at the time, was a guest pastor. He had never been there before. I never heard him speak before, but he was a great speaker, and his message... I'll try to do as good a job as he did delivering the message. So at the time in my life, I was feeling really alone in, in my life. I wasn't alone. I had a family. I had a marriage. I had kids. But I felt very alone because everything was really hard. We had two young children. My daughter was in the hospital all the time. If you don't know me, my daughter passed away a few years ago now, um, and she had been in the hospital all of her life. Many, many big medical issues. So I was always afraid, I was living in fear. Our medical bills were through the roof, more than we could ever, ever imagine paying. The strain of that on our marriage was debilitating. And when I looked around at other people, I thought, I'm different my life didn't go the way I thought it was going to go. My life didn't go the way I wanted it to. And it's different. Everybody else, you know, they're, they're living their life. They've got a great marriage. People are doing vacations. People are doing kitchen renovations. People are, you know, putting their kids in different things. And my life isn't that. And I was really like in that, in the struggle of that and feeling so separate. So this wonderful pastor, I wish I could remember his name, but I don't. His sermon was about understanding that in our culture and as human beings, we create things to keep us separate because that's how we look and gauge, how am I doing? We're competitive with each other. So we judge each other's houses. We judge each other's incomes. We judge each other's accomplishments and what we accumulate as things. We judge each other's children by where they're going and what they're doing. And it's a way of creating separateness that speaks to our human thinking, our human consciousness of competition, of safety and survival. But you're actually more Christ-like in the pain and the suffering of our life when you share that authentically. And I thought, oh, well, I must be really Christ-like <laughs> because life is really feeling painful with a lot of suffering. But just think about the message. That human external separateness by the things and the accomplishments and the money and the whatever is out here, it is at our human level, but the truth of who we are is at the spiritual level. And the spiritual level is there is no separateness. We all were created out of infinite wisdom, infinite love, the infinite field of creatorship, God created each and every one of us. There is no difference in the spirit and the energy that moves through each and every one of us. It doesn't matter where in the world you live. It doesn't matter what color you are. It doesn't matter how much money you have. It doesn't matter what you've accomplished. All of those things are human constructs that we created in order to feel safe, in order to stake our claim. Competition is the way that we move through the world during our human life. When you authentically share your pain and your struggle, and I know there's people watching this who have struggles and have shame about the struggles. You actually feel shame about what's happened in your life. You would never share things because that external construct says, no, oh, you didn't measure up. But in sharing the pain of our life, is where we really connect. That's where we really get the truth of who we are. That's where we're filled with love again, 
rather than judgment, resentment, jealousy about what somebody else has or what they've accomplished. When you share the pain and, and the other person hears it, that's when their heart is turned on. Their heart is turned on because really we all get that. We all get the pain and the struggle of life and we all can see each other in that painful story. We can't see each other in the accomplishments because it separates us. We can't see each other when you have more than I have, when that house looks bigger than mine, when you live in a country that's doing different things than what my country's doing, when you have a marriage that's working and I didn't. I can't see myself in you. I can't connect because all I see is what keeps us separate. But when we share the pain, you know, any parent anywhere in the world would do anything for their child. And if they have a child that's hurting, there is a parental pain there that we all get. It doesn't matter what culture you grew up in. If you are dealing with health and there's, you know, a fear about the future, every human being gets that. When you share whatever it is that's authentic and painful, you actually create the net around us that is the connection between us. Do you see what I'm saying? You actually strengthen the bonds that are truly why we're here. The accomplishments, not so much. The bonds to walk each other home we're walking each other home because at some point at the end of the day, we all end up going home. Nobody's getting out of this alive, right? Nobody's going to live forever. We're walking each other home back to that source. So when you share the truth of who you are, you strengthen the bonds like the, the net around all of us that helps us all move home with an open heart, with connection, with remembering the truth of who we are, that we all came from home base and we're all going back there. That's kind of what he said in the sermon, if I could, if I did a good job with it. I hope you see what I mean, because if you're holding shame about your struggles, I want you to let it go. It's the thing that makes you more Christ-like. It's the thing that actually speaks to our human experience, not your accomplishments, your successes, your money, your houses, your vacations, your relationships. Mm -mm. It's the struggles and the pain and the willingness to connect. Have a good day.